One night she was given some pills and she remembers Rose leaving the room and then Bailey carrying her to the bed and attempting to have sex. Then she blacked out. And I woke up in a, um, a singlet and I still remember it. It had little melons all over it, <laughs> little fruit singlet. Um, and wondering why I didn't have my clothes on, uh, why Bailey was there. And then his partner came in and asked him if he wanted a cup of tea. How do you feel that clearly Rose Shortland knew what was going on? I absolutely despise her. Um, she facilitated that first night. Um, I trusted her as a friend. Um, you know, I actually looked up to her. Uh, and that was the start of um, 17 years of absolute devastation. But you knew she was underage. Yeah, OK, people go, off. Oh, you know, she should have done something, this, that and everything else. But until you're actually in that situation, you don't know what it's like. That day they kept her home from school and she was made to wear her uniform all day. And from then on, she became Bailey's sexual plaything under his total control. He was manipulating her and he was hurting her and he was telling her that he was in love with her and I knew darn well what he was doing because I'd been there myself. The girl's father trusted Bailey and her mother lived in another town. He had threatened my mum's life and said if I ever told anyone about it that mum would be hurt and I fully believed him. Her life revolved around alcohol, drugs and sex on demand. I was 12 years old. I should have been playing hopscotch. And when she resisted Bailey, he turned violent. Next thing, he had pulled the knife out and had it around my throat. And um, told me to shut up and not say a word and um, dragged me outside to their tool shed um, and raped me at knife point. Did you think he was capable of killing you? There was no other um, way to interpret the situation. He had a knife at my throat. If I had moved too quickly, my throat would have been slit. Then Bailey went on a road trip, taking the girl with his family. He would take me away to isolated locations, um, in a forest uh, down by a river um, and yeah I'd be violently raped at knife point. I was, I was treated worse than an ill-treated dog. You knew about that violence? Um, yes. I can't stand up to Paul. I tried to. I got hiding for it. What do you think when you look back on that time? Honestly I feel I'm to blame for a lot of that that went on. I feel really angry at Paul because of um, how he manipulated and me. Finally, she fled to join her father in Hastings and make a new life. And Paul Bailey was back in Ettrick searching for another target. <laughs>